Basic Algebra's bonus round, we are going to circle the function that could possibly model this graph. So we're going to have to use what we know about the functions to kind of uh, eliminate, and I'm going to help you eliminate one on each. So it takes you down to a 50-50 guess, and uh, whatever ones you get right on these last six, I will add as bonus points to your assignment. Um, from today. So this last one is bonus points and I'm going to help you eliminate one from each. All right, so number one, looking at this, both of my endpoints are shooting up, which means that my leading coefficient is positive and it is even. So if my leading coefficient is positive and even, then I can eliminate that one because it's negative. All right, let's take a look at number two. All right, so um, there's several different ways you could go about this. Um, Let's eliminate one based on the y-intercept. So the y-intercept is here. It's a positive value. Um, in our first equation, our y-intercept is shown as negative 1, so we can eliminate the first one. Again, there are, in, in the first one and the second one, there are other things that can eliminate the other one. But I'm just going to help you eliminate one from each. All right, number three, let's look at turning points on this one. There's a lot of turning points. So we have one turning point, two, three, four, five. So that means that it at least has a degree of six, because sometimes those turning points can be a little hidden, but there's at least a degree of six. And notice that our endpoints are facing up, so we know it's an even degree as well. So let's count how many x's we would have in this last equation if we multiplied it all out. We would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that leading coefficient would be x to the fifth. You're done. Goodbye. Uh, let's do the same one on this. Let's look at turning points. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 turning points, which means it's at least a degree of 5. You can see our endpoints are going different places. So let's look at the middle equation. We would have one, two, three, four x's, so that would have a leading or a degree of four, which is wrong. That one can be eliminated. Number five. Uh, we could do uh, turning points again. Let's do turning points again. So this would be a cubic function. We have one, two turning points. And if we look at this middle equation, if we multiplied this all out, uh, when you multiply this out, it would have a degree of 3 because it's x to the third power. But there's also another x here. So this would have a degree of 4. So you're done. All right, so this is going to have an even degree because our arrows are facing the same direction. So if I look right away, the last equation has an odd degree. You're done. So now you have a 50-50 shot of getting the right equation. And again, if you answer these ones, it is bonus points today. So I'd go through and mark the ones that have been eliminated so you get a you have better odds of getting the correct answer. Happy mathing.